Hi everyone, this is Jordan from audiodextrous.com. Today I'm going to be having a little look at Cinematic Studio Strings. So there you have it, my little demo using Cinematic Studio Strings. Cinematic Studio Strings is a brand new string library, part of the Cinematic Studio series from Alex Wallbank and his team, makers of the very popular Cinematic Strings 2. And it'll cost you about $399. It's a contact player library with over a dozen different articulations for violins 1, violins 2, viola, cello, bass, and there's also some ensemble patches. So, best thing to do, probably, is just get stuck right in and we'll run through it all. And right, here we are. First things up, first violins. Let's just go straight in and let you hear a bit of this. Lovely. That's it straight out of the box. Um, I've got to load it up in Cubase, but uh, there's no other reverbs, no other processing really going through that. Um, besides a little bit of a limiter in case I go crazy. Um, straight out, what you get here is you have your sustains. You have your legato speed over here, which you can switch from standard to advanced. I may as well go through that since I'm here anyway. Standard. It varies depending on how hard you hit down in the keys. So if you can watch this little bit here. It's 
So we're just on medium there. And if I go... So that basically just so you can do um, a faster legato. If I switch it to advanced, then you have another option. You'll see here, if you just keep an eye on here. We're keeping on slow legato. If I do a bit harder. And then if you really want to go fast, you have to whack it like hell. Which on my keyboard, I do have to whack it like hell. Most of the time, I just keep it on standard. Um, otherwise, I just end up doing really stupid things like making mistakes. And that pretty much does me fine. Occasionally, if I'm doing a much slower passage, then I'll maybe move up to the advanced one for a little bit, but 90% of the time I'm keeping it on that. Here you have a little switch so you can change off your legato, so we can either be... If I... See, this is me keep holding my... Like a numpty, keeping my foot on the pedal. And it'll bring us over to the concertinos, which actually sound all right. Sometimes, because it's fake concertino, because they wanted to probably save a whole lot of money. Um, sometimes they just sound a bit meh. And this one actually doesn't sound too bad. Let's hear it. And I think that sounds all right. Anyway, I I do love the legato on this. Is the, this is the thing that everyone kind of goes on about with this library. The legato just sounds lovely. The problem is, is well, it's not a problem at all. It's actually quite nice. Is a lot of libraries now I think are going to do well is if they go for a really specific kind of sound. And I find that as soon as I start playing cinematic studio strings, I just start playing a certain way. I end up doing lots of little passages like this. Or I do I do this especially a lot. And it really pays with this library to make sure you're using the um, using your your fader for the the vibrato. If you click on up here in the little spanner, then you get your different little options. I keep it on three um, because I do. Um, if you don't end up using that vibrato, then I just I find it's just a lot more hard work to get something sounding great. If I keep the vibrato up full all the time. start using the vibrato. And then 
change it so it's full. has this lovely sound to it, this, this sound, I, I can't even, I don't know, there's just something that's really nice and Hollywood about it, I love it. Um, am I going to go over them? Yeah, may as well. I'm going to go over the different mics while I'm here before I start going through everything else that's here. Um, you have your main mix mic, which is what we're on now, which is a combination of the close, the main and the room, and it's at these levels. If we switch that off and just head to close, I'll give you a bit of that I will just say at the moment just to save me um, having to have my screen share and stuff like that on I'm actually running this off of a contact instance on my main machine which doesn't have my samples all loaded up nice and fast on an SSD this is just running off an old external drive so it's a bit slow to load I usually have everything sitting on my slave machine and it's all on SSDs and it's nice and quick. So um, any little funny sounds you're hearing is just because I'm being impatient and not letting this load all up. Let's give this a bit more because it's a bit low because it's down where they mix it at. funny little things because I'm not letting it load. Yes, 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 contact, I know. Come on then, come on, come on, hurry up. Come on. No, there you go. Come on, go all the way along there. Hear that mean? And let's hear the no, no, the mix, the room, the room, and then we can slow little external drive. Come on, come on, there you go. If I'm not feeling lazy, I could always just skip this bit and when I put it all together, but hey ho. Right, let's get rid of all this. Let's start listening to other bits and pieces. Other things. What are we going to listen to? Let's listen to staccato. Now, you'll notice here on the right-hand side, playing with my mod wheel, you can mod wheel, you can go between your spaccato, your staccatissimo, your staccato, or your sforzando. And I'll let you hear them. Now, I love this way of doing it. I've no idea why I haven't had anything set up like this before. I actually, once I started playing around with this and using this a lot more, I went back through all my other string libraries and I sorted it out so that they all do a very similar thing. Because it's just really useful just being able to kind of go... You can just kind of go... There. 
that just being able to do that's really really useful and i know some libraries do that through pressure the whole time anyway so you can just the harder you hit the key the longer the note will be but for some reason i've never really got on with that either see that lovely lovely Da -da -bum. So yeah, love that. Spagatos are very, very tight, they're really good. So, you know, you could start hammering it really fast. And you could always play this. Um, so love them, they're great, using them quite a lot. Sometimes what I'm finding, um, and I should really have gone over this with the legato as well and the sustains, is that there's a delay, um, there's a latency even, um, and I find quite a lot of the time when I'm um, especially hitting in the uh, uh, staccatissimos and spaghettos, I'm having to then nudge things back or put a delay compensation on that track, which is a wee bit annoying. Um, I have to say, um, it's m it's more annoying with the legato. Um, let's just go back to these again. Um, because it's so clever, and because it sounds really good, there's just a delay when you, when you hit the note, especially on the slower ones. Um, which... Um, it gets a little bit annoying. Uh, sometimes I've found when I'm, if I have a piece I've written and then I'm trying to put a bit of legato then over the top of it, um, when I'm trying to play, I really have to adjust the way I'm playing and when I'm hitting the keys just to make it really hit it. And I know you can play it and then nudge it afterwards, but actually if you're trying to play it in when you're listening to it, it's really quite, it can be a bit annoying, but you just have to just get used to it basically. Um, and then it will just sound awesome. Anyway, I think we've done everything we really need to do with the. Anyway, enough of that. Um, what should we go on to next? The tremolos. which I was playing loads of notes there and completely forgot it was actually on legato. So let's do these. It's really good, very quiet as well. So that's the whole way. Just as a really soft. And again, they have the concertina over this as well, so. Everyone likes a harmonic. Let's listen to these.
Lovely, lovely, lovely. On to drills. Now, because I'm really thick, I just assumed I'd be able to press one key and it would do it. But alas, no, it wouldn't do that at all. You have to hit the two keys at the same time, the one you want to go to. So in this case, I'm hitting the C and the D in exactly the same time. Try it. Anyway. And then I can hit the C and the C sharp. Hold down the pedal. Yay! Lovely. Um, so we need from that and the measured trim. Um, we don't want to sing to host. First thing, actually, pretty much the only thing I end up playing when I've got it on these measured trims is. Yay, um, which is good. They're very nice. But again, I actually don't use them too much. Most of the time I end up just sitting here going... Blah, 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 blah. Um, on to the Marcato. Stick on like that. Give it this. Overlay it off. Mm, kind of, maybe we'd get away with that if it was hidden. Um, and then on to pizzicato, and here again, same thing as the staccatos. Use your mod wheel to just to go between pizzicato, your bar talks, your collegnos. I really like using these kind of rhythm rhythmically. Um, maybe in a slightly lower instrument. Um, <clears throat> and that's us run right through it. Um, trying to think of anything else really to go through, but that's all I can think of for those. It's just we're gonna. I'm gonna really boring and skip the second violins because you know. 
They're pretty much like the first violins, but in a slightly different place. Well, they are. So let's jump over and we can sit here and wait for an exceedingly low time. Or I can just skip, which is what I might do. Or we can just sit here. You can listen to me crack my knuckles. Da da do 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 Parum 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 Pum Pum Parum 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 Pum 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 Parum Pum Pum Parum Pum Pum Parum Pum 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 Come on. Oh yeah. Lovely job, right? No. Because this isn't one of my safe little patches, I'm just going to change the vibrato to this for me. And just while I remember, there are kind of have been a few issues with um, using the legato when you put the vibrato all the way down to nothing. See, where's it gone? It disappeared. So some of the, it's going to get fixed in the next version, apparently. But at the moment, if you start whacking the vibrato down to nothing and using the legato, I mean, you know, that sounds a bit rubbish anyway, but. Go down as low as we can. I can't remember. I probably didn't mention the reboing bit either. <coughs> Excuse me. When you hold down the uh, your sustain pedal. And you hit your note, let's go for the C. If you hold down the, the pedal and then hit the E again. And then it'll rebore it, which is actually really nice. Again, um, I don't know why everyone doesn't do that really. Because you can kind of start off going. What the hell is that? It sounded like a tiny little bit from the fugitive or something like that. <laughs> right, yes, so enough m mentaling around with that. Let's hear the concertinos a bit. And it's just lovely. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't go out and buy like every single library straight away as soon as I possibly can. Um, but as soon as I heard this, I thought, geez, I need to have this one. It's, it's just lovely. Oh yeah, and I forgot as well. The lighter you touch it when you're doing the legato, you get your portamento. Make sure you don't overdo it. Alright, get to the top of it there. Let's hear Stigato. Stigato. Concertino, no thank you.
Come lose. Go away, Legato. Trills. <gasps> Ping. <laughs> Do it again. Can't go down that far, Jordan. And of course, you can sync that to your um, whatever tempo your host is at as well. Marcato. Pizzicato. So I'm going to stop with the silliness. I decided to go for a slightly happier key now. No, you just go that high, Jordan. I. Hope they brought a spare bow. Right, and let's move on to quickly to the cello. Let you hear some of that. Half an hour, cheesy peeps. What easy? Oh, that's it. Yeah, it starts from nothing, so you have to go down at the bottom, move the mod wheel up. Otherwise, you'll play it and be like, "What's happening?" Again, let me remember to do this. Again, I have all these saved on my my slave. Honestly, every time I play the legato, I almost play that pretty much every time. I love playing the cello higher up. Sardino.
Jubbly. Staccato. <gasps> Pardon me. No. Hey. That's the test, isn't it? The staccato test. Anyway. Play something happy. La. Right, let's go through all these. Stacky small. Excuse me. Oh, very good, very, very good. Let's go through them all. Tremolo. Let's go rid of that legato. Start off nice and low. Nice and low. I'm very scared. Counting, counting, counting. No, no, that's rubbish. Go on. It's good. <clears throat> I do like it when they can go really, just get that really quiet bit done. Listen to the quiet. Just creeping in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, uh, harmonics. Marcato, I once met a girl called Marcato. And lastly, let's go on to bases, unless I've completely forgotten something else. Yes, I want to replace contact. Come on, sort it. Bases, which we have our sustains for. Let's force it. Yeah, actually, no, 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 no. Come on. 
Come on, let's go right around to here. Vibrato, X, Fade, CC3. There we go, there. That's where I want to be. And that's pretty much all I'd end up using the sustains for, really. Nice, nice, nice. That's all the concertina one as well. What we did. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Muddy. I like them. They're good. Good. Stick a bit of course on it. So nice. Wait. I use this in my track. I think. Just. Love it. Those are nice if you do them really quiet and build them up a bit. Um, and also worth noting, there's no harmonics in the basses either. <clears throat> Which they probably just thought, hey, what's the point? But um, I know in Spitfire's Sable bases, the, uh, I'm pretty sure they had the harmonics in them because I've used them before and they're quite cool. But maybe they just thought it's covered in the cello. I don't know. Who knows? Um, that is everything on there. Let's just take a wee quick second. <clears throat> yes, I want to contact. Just to have a quick look at the, um, the full ensemble. And then we're probably about done. Uh, da, 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 da. I might actually just go through some of the bits in my own track where I used it and how I used it. Let's see. Let's use this first. Legato? No, let's not do that. Uh, crossfade? Yes. Vibrato. Let's go. No, 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 no. Go off Legato. And you can you can um, set all these up uh, to key switch them and change them all so you turn the Legato on and off. Um, which is the only easy and fine to do. I mean, you've got all that stuff. Oops, what am I doing? You've got all this here that you can change everything to. And then you can click on the... Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Let's go through the instrument and then I'll come back to it. Load up, come on, you. It's taking that long, you see. It takes ages, ages, and ages, and ages. I may just end up showing you this on my full template. Um, I was trying to just show you everything in contact. Mostly because I just wanted to um, let you hear it as dry as possible. 
which is I'm sure not the way people use it anyway. Fuck it. And then he'd actually be able to see this and everything. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but you have the, you can adjust uh, violins, violas, gels and basses inside here. Um, obviously means quite a big footprint on the RAM. Shh, shh, shh. Yes, I'm very mindful. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry about that. Turn you off. Um, uh, and the way I tend to have things up in my um, my own template anyway is you can, um, if you, come on Jordan, you don't use this enough. There you go. If you hold down Alt um, and then click, you can actually unload everything, which means I'm probably going to have to unload all of it again. You can see it going down. So in my own template, I actually just have a staccato track and this is just what I have loaded up. Um, and there is an issue with the individual instruments when you load up the staccato. If you start playing around with the mic positions, um, it starts unloading things and then you go back and it's a bit mad and you end up losing the staccatissimo and spiccato ones unless you then turn the instrument off and turn it back on again. But again, apparently there's a fix for that coming up as well. So what Alex tells me. Um... <laughs> Yes, full ensemble, very useful for quickly sketching things together. I, I still don't use it as much as I thought I would, but... When I'm using my ensemble patches, I tend to just be using other libraries. So when I come into this is when I'm, you know, using everything really separately. Fumble, fumble. Let's unload you. Speed things up a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's an old slow external hard drive. Yes. Right, come on. Sustains. But yeah, so you can adjust. Let's go to the violins, actually. Somewhere in the middle. See, so you can turn down your violins. Turn down your violas. Maybe an empty. Right, let's get rid of this. Out the way. And let me bring back up my session. Hello, session. With VO switched on so we can all hear me. La la la. Da, 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 da. Right, let's go back to the beginning. And let's get rid of all this stuff that doesn't need to be here. Right, so what did I start off with? I started off with the cello and a bit of violin. Just got the um, violin still coming in, just doubling it, really. Doubling violins. Shall we? This is what's And then I've got the double bass tremolos coming in. This is actually... No, don't go back to the beginning. Spinning wheel of the death. Don't crash. Yay, there we go. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, 
with some of the spagatos. They just, when you try and quantize them, and I don't quantize everything to death anyway. Um, I quite like Cuba, uh, Cubase's quantizer, where it just, it's a little bit clever about it, and uh, just is a little bit. Um, what you Quite often I was quantizing things up, and then I'll start slipping stuff back. You'll see here. And for it to actually hit right on the kind of point of everything else. Um, and you can, if I go at this, certainly in Cubase, you can go and offset it here. But then it just gets a bit annoying a bit later on when you want to do other things. So some of this stuff looks like it falls on it and some of it doesn't. Let's go back up to here again. Where were we? <laughs> The bass is just going to be way over there again. Oh yeah, it's a violin. And this is on this track. I actually used the, the offset, so I could actually find it closer because it was sounding a bit rubbish. And this is just actually, let's go back there. It was on here. It's just an example where I've had it so that they were all doing the staccato, they were doing the staccato before. And that should probably be there. I'll sort of just leave it. Um, and then I used the mod wheel just to whack this up. So it just went up and did a very long note at the end. on there. Let's listen to it. Yes, I was. So yeah, most of that is all the cinematic studio strings, um, besides a bit of Spitfire percussion, a, bit, a little bit of drums coming in, some heavy Aussie ethnic drums, uh, some Omnisphere of course, some, I think it's an unfinished patch, probably, probably is, I can't even remember now. Spinning wheel, spinning slowly in front of me. Oh, come on. My computer is being slightly taxed by the fact that I'm using a screen is um, screen recorder as well. Yes, of course it is. See, some unfinished in there. Um, that is, says it's granulate, but it's not actually granulate. I changed it in the end to something else because I had granulate in my... <sighs> Set up, but then I put some of these bit for Albion one mega low brass. Mega low brass. Um yeah. <clears throat> so all in all, um loving this library, using it all the time in pretty much everything um that I can. Um and when I'm not doing that, I'm just sitting around going mm. I can just sit around for hours just doing that. Um, it's probably got a whacking great big amount of... Yeah, I've put a ton of reverb on that. Because everyone likes reverb. Anywho... So, brilliant library. Definitely re recommend picking it up if you can. Um, and thanks very much for listening. Thanks. Bye.